So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try, I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on to see if that'll help. Because I had my Wi-Fi off and normally I do it with my Wi-Fi off. Tonight I'm going to turn it on just to see if it's going to help. You know, sometimes you've got to flip the script and change the channel just to see if it's going to work. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I was talking about someone by the name of West uh, in my earlier broadcast. My of West, the Lord told me to tell you that he has seen your tears and he has heard your cry. And God's about to answer your prayer. Lift up your hands and tell him thank you. Mm -hmm. Lift up your hands and tell the Lord thank you. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and tell him thank you. Last name West. So I hope I hope doing that brief kind of dated your phones and cleared cleared your caches so you can sort of like get some uh, your phone can function effectively and when y'all done with this Periscope cast on tonight y'all go update your phones all right some of y'all have had them phones for seven years and haven't updated the phone not one time there's a reason why the phone calls for an update is because it needs it as my spiritual son, blessings to you, man. Good to see you. Isaiah Blair, all right. Update the phone. Touch your neighbor and say, update your phone. Touch your neighbor. <laughs> Touch your neighbor and tell them, update your phone. Praise the Yeah, that's, that is a message. Update your phone. Mm -hmm. Listen, let me get into what it is I've come to do on tonight. I want to read you two testimonies and then we're going to get into the word of the Lord on tonight. Uh, this testimony comes from a man of God. I hope he's here on tonight. I'm a man of God by the name of Patrick. Is Patrick here on tonight? Uh, and Patrick actually sent this to uh, my email a couple of days ago. He sent this to my email and I've got two testimonies I want to give you. And after having done so, then we're going to get into the word of the Lord on tonight because God has a word for your spirit on tonight. Yes, he does. This testimony comes. Oh, OK. So, OK. All right. Your daughter's taken up for you because you haven't updated. All right, Sister Ida. <laughs> So listen, listen, Patrick, Patrick begins by saying, he begins by saying greetings. My name is Patrick and my wife's name is Sandra. We have a testimony. And also to let you know, he says you are so. I don't know which word he's talking about, but he said I was on point with it. He says we are sharing our testimony. Okay, Patrick's here. Blessings to you, man of God. There he is. There he is. There he is. He says, yes, I am here. Bring our testimony based on Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Uh, we were on one of your periscopes. He says, oh, my God, he goes way back to 2017. We were when you spoke a word that was confirmation to us that my wife and I would start a business together. You did not say that I would start a business. You did not say that my wife would start a business but you said that my wife and I would start a business together. We're going to go ahead on with this thing. Y'all catch the replay if it's freezing. All right. It'll get better. Praise the Lord. Keep praying. That's why That's why this, this is praying time. Keep praying. Stop it this time. We're just going to go ahead with it. He said, you spoke a word that was confirmation to us. That my wife and I would start a business, he said, together. 
uh, you prophesied we would start a business together and it would take off like a 747 jet. He says, I want you to know that we never forgot those words. All right. Command the airwaves to line up. All right. That's what y'all do. Y'all, I'm a minister. Y'all want to prophesy. Y'all pray. All right. He says, we never forgot those words that you gave us in 2017. For there was no way you could have known that except the spirit of God revealed it to you. We never stop praying over that word. He says, that not just my wife alone by herself or me alone by myself, he says, but we a business. He says, want you to know that we gave birth to our business in July of 2020. Isn't God amazing? I mean, they listen, they got this word in 2017. He said they never let go. They kept praying over the word because they knew that it was God. They knew it was going to come to pass. They knew it was going to come into existence. They knew it was going to come into fruition. And then he says, and I want you to have an understanding, just want you to know that we gave birth to our business in July of 2020. See that word three years ago, but they held on to it and they never forgot it. He said, we also sold a same year seed of $26.12. The scope you gave in April uh, of 2020 from Genesis chapter 26 he said, we could feel the fire of God in our home. It was like you were speaking directly to us. It was so powerful. Patrick said, I've never listened to a scope that I felt the presence of more strongly. It was the same word that God gave us. We just want that we gave birth to my touch cleaning. Man, that's that that was God's word to you. That was just that was not just a good idea. That was a God idea. But that was God's desire for you. And he brought it into fruition. He brought it into manifestations. Patrick, if you were there, if you don't mind sharing your contact information, because this was a God thing. Uh, if you don't mind sharing uh, your information with the people, anybody need a cleaning service, call Patrick. There's one near you. That's going to be his slogan one day. My touch cleaning services. There's one near you because it's about to give birth to cleaning services everywhere. As a matter of fact, in the spirit right now, I see five different locations already. Are you with me? I said in the spirit right now, I, I said I see five different locations right now of my touch cleaning services. I decree and I declare that there will be five different of my touch cleaning services. The man of God said, you gave my wife and myself a word and we held on to it. We never let go. That was awesome. That was powerful. Just because it didn't come into fruition the day after they didn't give up. Just because it didn't come into manifestation two months after they didn't give up. Just because it didn't come into fruition five weeks after they didn't give up. They received the word. They believed the word. They watered the seed of the word with prayer. And now they are enjoying the manifestation of the word that I gave to them, uh, to both he and his wife concerning the business. And my touch cleaning services has been birthed out of a prophecy. Can somebody lift up their hands and just tell God, thank you. Isn't God an awesome God? Isn't God an amazing God? Isn't God a phenomenal God? I decree and declare there will be five locations. I decree and declare there's going to be a commercial that's going to say, my touch cleaning services. 
contact us because there's one near you. Mm -hmm. This testimony, this testimony, uh, this testimony is from a woman of God by the name of Catherine. Her name is Catherine, a woman of God by the name of Catherine. Catherine says, greetings and blessings to you. I pray that this email finds you well. Back in January of this year, the word of the Lord came uh, to you regarding a new job for me. Seen in the spirit an application at a new building. When you spoke this word, my temp job or her temporary job had ended and I had just filed, she said, for unemployment. She says, when I gave her the word concerning a new job, she says her temp job had ended and she had just filed for unemployment. She says, I wanted to let you know God did it. To God be the glory. I will be starting on October 12th. Now, this was a word that I gave her back in January. Are y'all with me? It was a word that I gave her back in January. I gave this to Catherine back in January concerning a job. Right when she had filed for unemployment and her temp job had ended. She says, man of God, just wanted you to know that God did it to God be the glory. She says, I will be starting on October 12th. I thank God for you and your ministry. She says, thank you for bringing integrity and purity to the office of the prophet. Isn't the Lord an awesome God? Isn't God awesome? Right when her job ended, God gives her a word that he's about to open doors and give her another one. And here it is, October 12th, be starting a new job. What an awesome God. What a wonderful God. What an amazing God that we serve. You ought to lay hands on yourself and say, what a good day to be alive. All the chaos and the confusion and the chaoticism. This is a good day to be alive. And I always say that as long as God remains God, I'm all right. Now, when God stops being God, that's when I'm going to be scared. Are you with me? I said, when God stopped being God, I'll be scared. But as long as God continues to be God, and that he will be, I'm all right. Hallelujah. You know, I tell people all the time, I tell people all the time, amidst the chaoticism and the chaos that we are encountering and we are experiencing, it is imperatively significant for you to have an understanding that God is not moved by seasons. He controls seasons. About. That's something for you to get happy about. That's something for you to praise about. That's something for you to glorify God about. God is not controlled by seasons and times, but he controls seasons and times. Isn't it wonderful to have a God like that as your, as your daddy? Uh, someone who's not controlled by seasons, someone who's not controlled by times, but he controls seasons and he controls times. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord and like rivers of water, he will turn it whithersoever he will. I am so glad that the God in whom I serve is sovereign. That word sovereign simply means that God can do whatever he wants to do. I feel the Holy Ghost in like that. That word sovereign just simply means that God can do whatever he wants to do, whenever he wants to do it, however he wants to do it, through whomever he desires to do it through. And guess what? Can't nobody call him on it. Can't nobody check him in it. You want to know why? Because he's God and he does whatever he wants to do when he wants to do it. Sovereign simply means that God is not just the authority. He is the absolute 
is in the crevices of the earth has to go through God? Are you not excited that greater is he that is within you than he? Love? My God, I feel the glory of God. I feel the Holy Ghost now. Aren't you not excited that greater is he that and he that is within the world. Aren't you not excited that your daddy controls everything? Aren't you not excited that can't nothing happen in the earth unless your daddy allows it to happen? And whenever he allows no matter what it looks like or feel like or seems like, all things work together for the good, for them that love the Lord, and for those that are called according to his purpose. Aren't you excited to not? Nothing ultimately work against you, but everything works for you because of who your daddy is? I'm excited. God, I feel I, I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm excited tonight that can't nothing ultimately work against me. Everything works in my favor because of who my father is. Everything works in my favor because of who my daddy is. The word of the Lord says, and all things work together for the good. It doesn't say something. It doesn't say the majority of things. It doesn't say almost everything. It says, and all things work together for the good for them that love the Lord and for those who are the called according to his purpose. You ought to thank God tonight. I feel something pushing me in my back. I said, you ought to bless God tonight. That you are indeed a child of the Most High God. I had something to happen to me on yesterday. Cannot get into the totality of it as of yet because I am not allowed by the Spirit of God to release everything that. I will release it in weeks to come, but I am not allowed by the Spirit of God to release it on, to release the totality of what I encountered and experienced on yesterday. But yesterday, something happened to me, and the Spirit of the Lord said, through that encounter, through that experience, he says, tell the people that this is their just believe season because I said yes. Matarabakaya, Masiyoboka. This happened, this, this, this word tonight, this prophetic word tonight that I'm going to give you. Out of encounter, a person. Counter. This was not a dream. This was not a vision. This to go through, and 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 through that personal encounter. And I cannot get into the totality of it on tonight. I cannot tell you everything what happened because I am not yet released by the Holy Ghost, by the Spirit of the Living God, to tell you everything that happened. I will tell you in weeks to come, but I cannot release the totality of what I encountered on yesterday. But through my encounter. And through my experience, the Lord said to me, tell the people this is their that God said yes. Can, can I get someone to type God said yes? Mm -hmm. Can I get somebody to type God said yes? God said yes. Yes, there it is. God, come on, everybody. God said, I had to go through, and in my spirit, the Lord said, tell the people that this is their just believe season. Tell them that God said yes. No matter what's standing in your way in this season, the Lord said, just believe. 
no matter how it looks like it's falling apart, the Lord said, just believe. No, no matter how it seems like it's not coming together, the Lord said, just believe. And in that, when I heard the spirit of the Lord say to tell the people of God, no matter what's standing in their way, just believe. When I heard the Lord say to tell the people of God, no matter how it looks like it's falling apart, just believe. When I heard the spirit of the Lord say to tell the people of God, no matter how it seems like it's not coming together, just tell Tell them believe because I am going to give them a divine yes. It doesn't look like it's coming together, but God's about to give you a divine yes. It doesn't seem like it's going to work in your faith. It's about to give you a divine yet yes. It doesn't standing in your way, but God is about to give you a divine yes. I did not say that God's about to give you a yes. I said that God is about to give you a divine yes. There is a difference between a yes and a divine yes. Can somebody shout God's about to give me a divine yes? Yeah, there's a difference between a yes and a divine yes. A divine yes by which nothing in the earth will be able to overturn God's yes concerning your life. Nothing in the earth will be able to reverse God's yes concerning your life. Nothing in the earth will be able to rescind God's yes concerning your life. Nothing in the earth will be able to repel God's yes in your life. Nothing in the earth will be able to revoke God's divine yes in your life. Nothing in this season in the earth will be able to retract God's divine yes concerning your life. There is absolutely nothing that you come encounter with that you are going to face in this season that will be able to override God's divine yes in your life. Nothing will be able to overrule it. Nothing will be able to overthrow it because when God says yes, it's just yes. I'm, listen, I'm 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 trying to bring some comfort to, to, to I'm trying to bring comfort to somebody. I'm trying to bring encouragement to somebody that's trying to do something, that's trying to get something going, and it looks like everything is standing in your way to keep this thing from coming to pass. Everything is standing in your way to keep it from coming into fruition. Everything is standing in your way to keep it from coming into manifestation. I've come to tell you tonight by way of heaven that in this season, there shall be nothing and there shall be no one that will stand in your way because God is about to breathe a divine yes upon your situation. And when God says yes, God for you, uh, listen. When he says yes, nothing can overturn it. When God says yes, nothing can overturn it. When God says yes, nothing can reverse it. When God says yes, no one can revoke it. When God says yes, no one can override it. When God says yes, no one can retract it. God is about to breathe a divine yes upon you and your situation. He says, tell the people tonight that this is the season of the divine yes. I'm going to breathe a yes upon their situation and upon their circumstance that nothing and nobody will be able to overturn. They may not like you, but they will not be able to stop you because God is breathing. My God, I feel Glory to him tonight in my spirit. They may not like you. They will not.
not be able to stop you because God's breathing a divine yes upon your situation and your circumstances. In Exodus chapter 9, right about verse 1, when God says to Pharaoh, let my people go, no matter how bad Pharaoh wanted to hold on to the children of Israel, he had to let them go because God had breathed a divine yes upon their situation. Pharaoh did not want to let the children of Israel go. Pharaoh wanted to keep the children of Israel captive, but he had to let them go because God commanded him to let them go. And when God commands, God, everything in the earth has to respond. Are y'all listening to me? When God says yes, Yes. I was sitting down as, as God began to minister to me this evening and as God began to speak to me concerning a divine yes that he's about to breathe over your life and he's about to breathe over your marriage and he's about to breathe over your family and he's about to breathe over your home and he's about to breathe over your health. And he's about to breathe over your finances. And he's about to breathe over your situation. And he's about to breathe over your circumstance. As God began to minister to me concerning this divine yes, I turned my TV on and the news caught my attention here in Atlanta on Channel 5. And and there is a woman, there is a woman, I want you to Google her. There is a woman here in Atlanta uh, who goes by the name of Dr. Lehman. I think it's L-E-M-O-N. Her name is Dr. Lehman, who gave her testimony on Channel 5. And she talked about how that three years ago, how that a year ago, rather, the, the doctors gave her three months to live. about a year she was in her last stage of breast cancer and she had lung cancer at the same time that she was in her last doctor gave her three months to live and she gave her story on Fox News right here in Atlanta tonight that with three months to live, she says, here she is. One year later, because when God, I feel glory now. I believe I was directed by the Holy Spirit. God gives you a divine yes. Not even a double dose of cancer can take you out. When, when God says, when God says you shall live and not die, one year ago, the woman had breast cancer. A year ago, the woman had lung cancer. And in her last stages of breast cancer, she says the doctor walks into the room and says, we're sorry to tell you, but you've got three months to live. She says, and here it is. She was giving her testimony on Channel 5 tonight. She says, and here it is, one year later. God, I feel glory tonight. She says, here it is, one year later. She says, I'm still to me. He said, you know why she's still here, son? I said, why, God? He says, because I spoke a divine yes over her life. And when God speaks a divine yes over your life, not even a double dose of cancer could take you out. Not even when the doctors walk into your room and tell you you've got three months to live. It cannot, whatever God speaks. God, I feel glory tonight, y'all. Y'all got to excuse me because I feel I feel something different happening in my spirit now. There's a different move of God tonight. Whenever God speaks a divine yes over your life, nothing and no one can stand against it.
There's some of you all here tonight. You've got a Red Sea in front of you. There's some of you all here tonight who have Pharaoh in his own. Here tonight that have mountains on either side of you. You got the Red Sea in front of you. You got the devil behind you. You've got mountains on either side of you. And it looks like it's over for you. It looks like you're trapped. It looks like there's no way out. But the Lord told me to tell you tonight that in this season, he's about to make a way where there is no way about to breathe a divine yes upon your situation. You, there are people here tonight that just feel stuck. There are people here tonight that feels like an automobile and neutral and you can't go nowhere. You can't go forward because the Red Sea is in front of you. You can't go backward because the devil is behind got mountains on either side of you. You're in a situation tonight, many of you, and it feels like the walls are caving in. And at the same time, roof is coming down. And at the same time, the floor is coming up. You are in a situation tonight where it feels like literally putting a squeeze on you. Who am I ministering to? Who am, who am I prophesying to? Who am I talking to? Somebody here tonight, you are in a situation where it feels like the in and the roof is coming down and the floor is coming up and life is putting a squeeze on you and the devil is manipulating you into thinking that there's no way out of where you're going to go of what you're going through that you're going to die in it and you won't survive in it you won't live in it you you won't come out of it but the devil is a liar god sent me here tonight if you don't get anything else i'm saying if you don't understand anything that God told me to tell you, you have to breathe a divine your situation, a divine yes upon your circumstance. He's about to make a way. He's about to breathe a divine yes upon your situation. God's about to make a way. Where there is no way. If you don't get nothing else I said tonight, understand that God is about to breathe a divine yes upon your situation. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how hopeless it seems. I don't care if it feels like you're never coming out of it. I don't care if you can't see a way. Even when you can't see a way, how many know that God will make a way? Tonight, that God is about to make a way where you can't see a way. That's what I love about God is that even when we can't see a way, God says, I'll still make a way. Because when you're seeing, you're walking by sight and not by faith. God says, I don't walk by sight. I walk by faith. I can see what you can. God is about to make a way where there is no way. He's about to put a divine yes upon your situations and your circumstances. You remember 23? Remember in Numbers 23 when Balak wanted Balaam and whom I define as the king of the sorcerers to curse the children of Israel? Do you remember what Balaam says to Balak? Balaam says to Balak, he says, listen, I cannot curse, watch this now, what God has blessed. That was a sorcerer speaking. I said that... That was not, that was not, that was not a child of God speaking. That was not a righteous man speaking. That was a, that was not a kingdom man speaking. That was a sorcerer speaking, saying and communicating that I cannot curse. So knows that he cannot put a curse upon what God has put a blessing upon says to Balak, he says, he says, I can't curse what God has blessed. 
He says, he says in the book of Numbers, chapter 24, Balaam says, he says, listen, I can't go beyond the word of the Lord. Goes to Balaam. He says, listen, just do what you can. Just, just do what you can. I will give you whatever you want, whatever you should. Children of Israel. Balaam then says to Balak in Numbers chapter 22, he says, listen, if you would give me your house <laughs> full of gold and full of silver, he says, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord to do less or to do more. I cannot do The word of the Lord already stored. Balak wanted Balaam to curse the children of Israel. If you can't go beyond the word of the Lord, and that's all I'm trying to tell you tonight is that there is no situation and there is no circumstance that can go beyond the word of the Lord. When God places a divine yes upon your situation, upon your circumstance, I don't care who's trying to work against you, it's yes. I read that and it tripped me out. It tripped me out. And I'm going to tell you why it tripped me out. Because here it is. Here it is. The king of sorcerers is referring to my God as his Lord. Y'all ain't saying nothing, y'all. I said the king of the sorcerers referred to my God as his Lord. You know what that tells me? Even the devil knows who's in charge. My God, I feel that tonight. Who's in charge? Don't you let the enemy fool you like he's in charge. The devil knows who's really in charge. When God puts a divine yes on something or someone. Y'all got to forgive me tonight. I'm telling you, I, I feel something in my spirit tonight where the people of God are concerned. I'm telling you, there are those of you in whom are here tonight that have been trapped into situations for seven years, that's been trapped for 14 years, that's been trapped for 17 years. There are some of you all in here tonight that's been trapped into situations for 21 years. What word? You better get this. Believe in the Lord thy God thou be established. Believe his prophets prosper. Believe in the of a prophetic word tonight. Just believe. God's about to breathe a divine word upon your situation. When God puts a divine yes on someone or something, you better hear me by the Holy Ghost. When God, when God, my God, I feel glory. When God puts a divine yes upon something or someone, they listen, they can do hoodoo, they can do voodoo. They can do shoe do. They can do you do. They can do whatever they want to do. They cannot change nor interfere with the word of the Lord where your life is concerned. Are 
are you listening to me? I listen. I said that they can do whatever they, they listen. They can do whatever they want to do. Gooba dust, chicken feet. You can do whatever you want to do. Who do voodoo? I don't. Salt and front. You can do whatever you want to do. They cannot change the word of the Lord concerning your life. Hallelujah. You ought to let the devil know, do whatever you want to do. You can't change the word of God concerning my life. Hallelujah. Do whatever you want to do. Who do, who do, you do, she do, do, do. I do whatever you want to do. You cannot change the word of God concerning my life. Balaam said to Balak, he says, listen, man. I am the chief of the sorcerer. I've got a PhD. Balaam, Balaam says to Balak, he says, I got a PhD in voodooology. I, I got a master's plus 30 in hoodooology, but I cannot curse. What God has blessed. Balaam, Balaam says to Balaam, he says, Listen, you can give me everything you own. You better hear me by the Holy Ghost. That's all I'm trying to let you know tonight that you're blessed. Balaam says to Balak, he says, you can give me everything that you own. God has placed a divine yes. God has placed a divine yes upon the lives of the children of Israel. And I cannot go against what God has said. You, you need to open your mouth. You need to open your mouth tonight and let your household hear it. Open your mouth and let your neighbors hear it. Open your mouth and let your sit hear it. Open your mouth and let your state hear it. Open your mouth tonight and let the world hear it. Let heaven hear it. Let hell hear it. Let the angels hear it. Let the devil hear it. That God said yes. I'm telling you, this is probably one of, if not the most powerful prophetic words that I've ever given. It's not deep, but it's powerful. I said, this is one of, if not the most powerful prophetic words that I've ever given. God told me to tell you. He said, yes. Whatever it is, You've been believing God for. Whatever it is. You've been praying for. Whatever it is. You've been desiring God to do. The Lord. Told me to tell you tonight. That he said yes. God's about to breathe. A divine yes. Upon your situation. And there is nothing. And nobody. That will be able to.
over no. overrule God's divine yes concerning your life. Are you with me? Nothing in this season. This is the season of God's divine yes. I don't care what's coming up against you. I don't care who's trying to work against you. The divine, I'm telling you what I heard in the Holy Ghost. The divine yes of God is upon your life. Listen, I want you to sow a divine yes seed tonight of $35.99. Go to the website, www.profitmitchell.org or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. And I want you to sow a divine yes seed of $35.99. And 99 cent a seed on tonight. Blessings to you, Lady Ida. A seed on tonight that will decree and that will declare that no matter that no matter that no, you gotta get this, you gotta get this. I said a seed that will decree and declare that no matter what is trying to hold you back or hold you down in this season, it won't be able to because God said yes. Go to the website. Go to the website, www.prophetmitchell.org. Can someone put that up there? Sister Ida, where are you? Can you put that up there, please? Thank you, Talia. www.prophetmitchell.org. Blessings to you. www.prophetmitchell.org. Or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. And I want you to sow a divine yes seed of $35.99, $35.99, a seed that will decree and declare that no matter what is trying to hold you back or hold you down, it will not be able to in this season because God says yes. $35.99. The number nine is the beginning of the double digits, the ending of the single digits. The number nine represents the ending of one chapter. Hallelujah. I said the number nine represents the ending of one chapter, but the beginning of another chapter, $35.99. $35.99. I don't know. Is the brother here? There's a brother here tonight. I want your information. Last year, I mean, last week rather. This brother, I don't know who he is, but he sowed a seed. He said he was led by God to sow a seed of $1,000, and he did. And man of God, if you're here tonight, I want you to go to my website, www.prophetmitchell.org, and I need your name and your contact information. I don't, I don't know who this brother was on last week, on last Friday. I don't know if it was his first time here. I don't know if it was his second time here. I don't know if it was his third time here. But he sold a $1,000 seed. I'm talking about a brother. You don't usually get brothers to do that. I'm talking about a brother. Are y'all listening to me? I'm talking about a brother. I'm talking about a man of God that sold a $1,000 seed on last Friday because he was led to. Sir, if you are here, if it, and if you're not here, if you're not, if you are not here physically, 
If you catch the replay, I need you to go to my website, www.prophetmitchell.org. And there is a place where you can leave me your name and uh, leave me your, your contact information. But I want everybody tonight, I want everybody to sow a divine yes seed of $35.99. I'm telling you tonight that you are in a season. You are in a season where God is releasing divine yeses everywhere. The book of Proverbs says this. Watch this now. It says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And like rivers of water, God turns it, whether so ever he will. Are you with me? The book of Proverbs says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. I'm going to give this to you and I'm out of here. Get this. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And like rivers of water, it says God turns it whether so ever he wills. Do you know what that means? Kings are symbolic of people who are in decision-making positions. You better get this in the Holy Ghost. Don't miss this now. Kings are symbolic of people who are in decision making positions. Kings are symbolic of people who are in positions of authority. The word of God says that people who are in decision making positions, the word, let me break it down. The word of God says that people who are in positions of authority, it says that their heart is in the hand of the Lord. Dollar sign Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch. Dollar sign Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. It says the king's heart. People who are in positions of authority, their heart, it doesn't, when it speaks in, in reference to the heart, it's not talking about that part that, that part of man's anatomy whose responsibility it is to pump blood. When it speaks in reference to the heart, it's talking about their mind. Are you with me? It's talking about their mind. The heart of a man speaks in reference to the mind of a man. Are y'all with me? The heart of a man speaks in reference to the mind of a man. It says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. The person, the person who is in positions to make decisions where your life is concerned, the person who is in postures of authority, their mind is in God's hands. And God says, I will turn it, whether so ever I will. The book of Proverbs says, as a man thinketh in his heart, as it relates to his mind, so is he. As a man thinketh in his heart, as it relates to his mind, so is he. When it speaks in reference to the heart of a man, it's talking about the mind of a man. The king's heart of the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord. And like rivers of water, God turns it, whether so ever he wills. Do you not know that people in whom are in positions of decision making where your life is concerned, do you not know that their mind is in God's hand? And even when they want to say no, God can make them say yes. Do you not know that their mind is in God's hand? 
And even when they want to say no, God can make them say yes where your life is concerned. Do you not know that there are umps and umps of people, even in my own life, who wanted to say no but couldn't because God made them say yes. God made them say yes when they didn't want to say yes. And after they said yes, in the wee hours of the night, they laid there thinking, why did they? Now, you better get this in the Holy Ghost. I said they wanted to say no but had to say yes. And in the wee hours of the night, in the wee hours of the night, as they lie down in their own bed, they had to question themselves, what made me say yes when I wanted to say no? Because they had no understanding that their mind was in God's hands. And like rivers of water, he turns it whithersoever he wills. God can make a man say yes when he wants to say no. No. when he wants to say yes. You didn't get that. You didn't get that. You, you didn't get that. You didn't get that. I'm going to say it again. Again. I said God taught you. Are you hearing me? I said God can make a man say yes when he wants to say no. But then on the flip side of that, God can make a man say no when he wants to say yes. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you've not understood, tell you, I hope they're getting this. I, I really do. I hope by the spirit of the Holy Ghost that they're getting this. Listen to me. If you have not understood nothing that I've said tonight, God is about to put a divine yes in the mouth of people who want to say no where your life is concerned. Go to the website, www.prophetmitchell.org or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Hearn, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. And I want you to sow a divine yes seed of $35.99. I'm going to say it again. God is about to put a divine yes in the mouth of people who want to say no where your life is concerned. Listen, I, I am I am so thankful to God tonight. I, I am so, and listen, I mean this. I mean this from the very depths of my soul. I am so thankful tonight for a God who is in such a position of control that he can put a yes in the mouth of a man concerning me who wants to say no.
I don't think y'all, I don't think y'all know. I don't think you all know how powerful the God is in whom you serve. Oh, Chris, I've seen it too. Yes, I have. Yes, I, I've seen. I, I don't think you all know how powerful your heavenly father really is. God says, listen, I am so powerful until there are people out there who want to say no, but I will make them say yes. And in the wee hours of the night, have them laying down thinking, why did I say yes when I really wanted to say no? That's the kind of favor. That's the kind of favor. <sighs> you better love him. Y'all better love him. Yeah, I, I said y'all better love him. That's the kind of favor that you are about to step into in this season. Listen, listen to me tonight. Listen to me tonight. I never claim to know a whole lot. I've never, I've never, somebody says awesome word prophet. Blessings to you, Patrick. I've, I've never claimed to know a whole lot because I don't, I don't, I don't know a whole lot. I don't know a whole lot and I'm, I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not afraid to say that. I don't, I don't know a whole lot. But there's one thing I do know. I know the voice of God when I hear it. Sister Ida said, I believe I've already sold double for my daughter and myself. Hallelujah. I don't know a whole lot. I, I don't, and and I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm you know. I'm I'm not too caught up in myself. I'm not too caught up in myself to say I don't. I don't know a whole lot. But there's one thing I do know. I know the voice of God. And the Lord on yesterday told me to tell you, no matter what it looks like from the surface, just believe. Because he's about to breathe a divine yes. upon your situation and upon your circumstance. He's about to breathe yes, a yes in places where men want to say no. Now, 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 this may not mean a whole lot to, to some of you all, but it means a whole lot to me. God's about to breathe a yes on your situation. There's a woman of God here tonight 
who goes by the name of, uh, I think your handle is at Cherie. At Cherie, at Cherie. Go to the website. Come on, everybody. www.profitmitchell.org. Thank you, Sister Ida. Or you can go to my website. You can go to the, my cash app, rather, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. Go to the website, www.profitmitchell.org. Or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. Blessings to you, Sister Ida. Thank you so much. And I want you to sow a divine yes seed of $35.99. $35.99. Woman of God who has the handle at Cherie, the Lord told me to tell you that he's about to walk into your home. God told me to tell you he's about to walk into your home and establish another level of intimacy and connection between you and your mate. God's about to establish another dimension of order and of course, when I say intimacy, you know, intimacy is not always sexual. You know, when you start talking about intimacy, people think about sexual things. When you look at that word intimacy and you start breaking that thing down, intimacy, 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 into me, see, into me, see, into me, see, into me, see. Intimacy is having the ability to be open with one another, to be transparent with one another from, from a pure place, to be, to be real with one another. The greatest form of intimacy is not sex. Hallelujah. The greatest form of intimacy is not sex. Y'all ain't got no kids on here tonight, right? Sex is good. Praise the Lord, everybody. Y'all ain't saying nothing, y'all. But the greatest form of intimacy is not sex. The greatest form of intimacy that can transpire between a man and a woman is communication. It's the greatest form of intimacy. It's, it's communication, intimacy, intimacy, into me, see, into me, see, or reverse it, see, into me. The greatest form of intimacy that can transpire between me and my wife is when I'm able to sit down with her and be open with her and real with her and transparent with her from a pure place. That's intimacy. And I'm talking to that woman of God tonight. God's about to bring another level of intimacy into your marriage. Where is she? Cherie, is she still here? Another level of intimacy in your marriage. And God's about to bring another level. <coughs> God's about to bring another level of togetherness. He's about to establish another level of order into your marriage. Because there are some things that God is about to do for you. And I see some type of business 
that God is going to prosper in your hands. There's a move coming and I see a business and then God, I'm still talking to that woman of God, Cherie. There's a business uh, that God is going to prosper. And uh, I also hear the spirit of the Lord say that he is going to help you to overcome She says, I have been seeking him on that. Praise the Lord. The Lord also told me to tell you, Cherie, that he's going to help you to overcome these private, personal insecurities that you deal with within yourself. These, these private, personal insecurities. The Lord said, the Lord said, tell her that there are several insecurities that she's dealing with within herself that I am going to help her overcome. As a prophet, I've just got to say what God is leading me to say. One of the insecurities that you deal with, and I don't even know who you are. I see your face and that's it. I don't I don't know who you are. I, I haven't talked to you personally. I haven't met you personally. One of the insecurities that the Spirit of the Lord is telling me now that you deal with is that concerning your weight. God is about to put you on a lifestyle plan not a diet, you know, not something that you do two and three and four months and you stop it and, you know, you go back to doing what you were doing before. But God's about to change your eating habits. <clears throat> and the Lord is about to put you on a, on a lifestyle plan. <clears throat> God's about to put you, God's about to put you on a lifestyle plan and the spirit of Allah told me to tell you that he's going to give you what's necessarily needed to stick to it. Uh, I don't know anything about you. Say what the spirit of God is telling me right now. I, I don't know anything about you. I've, I've not met you personally. Um, we, we've not had, we've not had a conversation uh, before. She says, "Praise God." Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know you personally. We've not had a conversation before the scope started. You know, you didn't have an opportunity to tell me what you were dealing with, so that I can say that. And she says, "No, sir," because she wants people to know that. No, I don't personally know her. No, we did not have a conversation. I only hear concerning her what the Lord is speaking to me about. God's about to give you a plan. God's about to give you a plan these next couple of months. He's about to give you a plan. And you're going to start losing weight God's way so that you will not be so insecure in that area um, of, of your life. Also, you're a person who deals, you deals with a you deal with a lot of self-doubt. You 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 doubt yourself even in areas where you have ability you doubt you doubt yourself you you you're so hard on yourself and you're in a season where god is about to change that because god's about to give you more confidence in yourself It's one thing for God to believe in you, but it's a totally different ball game when you believe in you. See, there's a there's a lot of doors. There's a lot of doors 
that 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 you allow to close in your face when you don't believe in you. God's about to bring you to a place where you start believing in yourself. God's going to do that for you. Go to the website, www.prophetmitchell.org, www.prophetmitchell.org, or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H, and uh, I want you to sow, I want you to sow that, that divine, yes, seed of $35.99. And God's about to breathe a divine yes upon your situation and your circumstances. And I decree and declare that you are in a season. You are in a season where nothing and nobody will be able to stop you. No matter how bad they desire to. No matter how bad they desire to. They will not be able to stop you because God's about to breathe the divine yes upon your situation and upon your circumstance. Go to the website, www. She says, thanks for allowing God to use you, prophet. Blessings to you. I appreciate you and, and, and I so honor you. And I thank God for your being here with us on tonight. Go to the website, www.prophetmitchell.org, or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H. And uh, I want you to sow, I want you to sow a divine yes seed of $35.99, decreeing and declaring that no matter what is trying to hold you back or hold you down in this season, it won't be able to. Because God's about to breathe a divine yes upon your situation. And when God says yes, there is nothing and nobody who can say no. My God in the glory, did you all just see that? No one can say no. When God says yes, when God breathes a yes upon your situation, no one can say no. And I'm telling you, that's the close of the season in this year that you're about to have. God's about to breathe a yes upon your situation. And even though they want to say no, even though the situation says you deserve a no, God's going to give you a yes. And doors are going to begin to swing wide open for you. Right where you are, right where you are, I want you to open your mouth and out of your own mouth just began to decree and declare this is my divine yes season. Come on, say it right where you are, right where you are, right where you are because I'm about to get up out of here. Right where you are just began to decree and to declare, this is my divine yes season. I don't care who's trying to work against me. I don't care who's trying to close a door on me. God said yes. And I decree and declare that this is my divine yes season. Go to the website, www.prophetmitchell.org or you can go to the cash app, dollar sign, Herm, H-E-R-M, Mitch, M-I-T-C-H, and I want you to sow 
I want you to sow. I want you to sow a divine yes seed of $35 in 99 cents. $35 and 99 cents. Blessings to you, Toya. Within the next seven days, what's today? Today's Saturday. Within the next seven days, somebody's coming back with a testimony concerning property that God gave you favor on. Hmm? When is that? When is, when is seven days from now? Somebody mark the date because that's the day I'm coming on. Somebody mark the date. Within the next seven days, I heard that in my spirit, within the next seven days, it's the 16th of October, within the next seven days, somebody is coming back with a testimony concerning property that God gave you favor on. Listen, I have had my share of seasons of no. This is my divine yes season. You ought to decree to hell that you have had your seasons of no. Anybody here tonight have had their share of seasons of no? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 But I decree and declare. I decree and declare tonight that this is your season. God said in his word that if I decree a thing, that he would establish it. He says, if I decree a thing, he will establish it. I decree and declare that this 